right, we're here with Jasmine at Melody Grand Prix. Jasmine is singing song number two in hopes to represent Denmark at Tel Aviv. Now, I want to talk a little bit about your song. <laughs> Very much a beach-inspired, Latin-fused song. Have you thought about what it might sound like in Israel? I think it would sound awesome. Yeah. It would go really well with the beaches, I <laughs> think. Yeah, and the clubs. It's a club yeah. song. Yeah. Um, one big piece of the song, I think, is Kiss. Your song is called A Kiss Like This. How can we expect it to see the kiss on stage, if at all? You can. It's like, it's a hand thing. So yeah. it's a kiss like this. Uh -huh. You do like this. Because there was once a kiss in the Danish Grand Prix, and they, they lost because they were kissing like, 12 seconds or something yeah. that the, yeah so even though the dancers are really hot <laughs> doesn't work out with me kissing them so we're doing the hand thing kiss like this guy <laughs> well i'm definitely looking forward to seeing <laughs> that uh but on the other hand there's also this mention of you want to be down where the rattlesnakes rattle yes. <laughs> now <laughs> how do you how do you explain <laughs> to people that are afraid of snakes that they should still like your song yeah well it's not snakes though <laughs> um so it's just um, an expression of dancing, maybe. Okay, okay. Dan dancing comes in lots of forms. Yeah. That, that, that's totally. good to know. Now, um, for our international fans, I, um, one thing they may not know is how well known you are actually in Denmark for something completely different to singing. Yeah. Um, why don't you tell me a little bit about that? <laughs> I was in the Great Danish Bake Off, and I got number two. I was runner-up, and yeah. That sounds delicious. <laughs> what, what was your uh, your my thing? Yeah, I think my thing was like colors and um, the like creative expression and also very like tasteful things. I really like I like expressing myself through creativity in any form, and this was just another form. That makes sense. Yeah, I could see you doing that. <laughs> um, and now for our our Eurovision viewers, now you you are no stranger to the Eurovision stage. Is that true? Yes, in 2017, I was with uh, Anja Nissen uh, doing BBs, and uh, it was in Kiev, in Ukraine. It was awesome, and I really enjoyed it. And I got so hooked on Eurovision <laughs> <laughs> that I was like, I came home and I was like, okay. I remember I was, I think I was on the plane home where I started texting some of my songwriting friends, and I was like, we gotta write a song for this. I need to be in this show. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's extra good luck for you that uh, uh, Melody Grand Prix is happening here in Herning, right? Is it? Uh, Anya was here. Oh, yes. Oh, that must be extra right. good. <laughs> I was like, is it? You know, Anya had that big moment when she was here where she kind of fell to the ground and hit that big note. Yeah. So I'm going to be expecting great things out of you. Yes. Yeah, I will hit something. <laughs> Some note. Um, so w any any message to your international fans um, about, about the song and how to enjoy the song? I just really want you to like take it in. It's a party song, and I think it has everything that a Eurovision song could have because it like invites everyone to a party, and I want you to be in it. Come on! Yeah, so guaranteed party in Tel Aviv if you're there. I, I think that's a fair, sh <laughs> fair bet, right? Thank you so much, Justin.